What it is, what it ain't, and what it will be. It's your boy, G, the number one cowboy fan, happy coming to you live, direct, and correct. Coming with to you with some news that you can use. Oh yeah, I'm back again, once again. Come and give you some 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 inside scoop on our cowboys. When we come together in the hunt, I gotta mute this music because if I don't mute the music, then YouTube's gonna do that old crazy stuff. But anyway, hope everybody's doing okay, man. I'm sitting up here in this line, getting ready to uh, get my my car washed. We got some good weather in the in the area today, as y'all can see. But uh, so I'm going to get my car washed. So I said, well, while I'm sitting here getting my car washed, I might as well get on and talk to the people that's in the cowboy huddle. But anyway, so uh. Let's talk about what's what right now. We already know, man, what's going on with Dak. Dak and Jerry Jones. Yeah. It don't take too long of your time. But so anyway, listen, y'all. This is the deal. And I used to always tell Dak, shut your mouth, dude. You run your mouth too much. Well, y'all remember back during the season, last season, all that stuff going on. Remember what when Dak was asked about his contract. This was this was his answer every time. Well, I'm not really worried about the contract right now. We'll cross that bridge and we'll get to it. I do this for the love of the game. Shut your mouth. You do what? I do this for the love of the game. Do you not know that Jerry Jones is actually writing that down? Because you do it for the love of the game. They're putting that in. Let me tell you something. And I understand what what what, what Dak was trying to do. He, he's, his interviews and his, his press conference more like Jason Garrett, you know. And he thought very, very highly of Jason Garrett, which was cool and everything. But here's the problem I have. Dude, you fail to realize that this is a business. This is a straight-up business. This ain't, this ain't one of those, those you know, they're going to take care of you, Pee Wee Lee. You're going to be on the team and the starting quarterback until you get to high school or whatever. Dude, this is a business. So anyway, so yeah, so uh, he continued to say, I got to double down, you know, it's on me. Everything, when they lost, it was on me and things like that. But, uh, you know, it had it, it come back to hunt, hunt Dak. Well, Dak should have done what he had the chance. He should have went on and start getting that contract together in, in his third year, even maybe his second. It's one thing I've learned, you always sell your stock when it's high and you buy when it's low. And sure enough, his stock was low this past season. So guess what? The Cowboy organization is using it against him. Not saying that he's not a good quarterback. Dak is damn good. He's in the top five. So here it is. So come to find out, uh, we found out that, uh, found out that uh, Dallas had offered the man $33 million a year. Once he starts saying that you can report that, that I'm not going to show up unless we get this contract deal done. Dude, what you thinking about? They was, you know, you should have thought about that last season, cause you got to remember they got you for two million dollars, cause you a fourth round draft pick. So it's like buying a uh, new car, real cheap, and that's what they did. And they didn't roll on this new car till the wheels got went ball. You know they always say I'm I'm uh, rolling till the wheels go ball. Yeah, the wheels don't went ball. So they done got some use out of that. But anyway, so he, you know, they said it was told that they offered him $33 million a season. Now, you got to understand, uh, uh, you got several, Aaron Rodgers making $34 million, Jared Goff is making $33 million, uh, 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 Russell Wilson is making $33 million. So, dude, what do you mean you're going to get more than those guys? Dude, th- who, who is your agent? Whoever this agent is, he's, he's not very good. He's not very good at all. But you you might not get as much as those guys that's already out there. You I know what you're looking at. You're looking at more of uh, the Lance Jacks. I mean uh, Lamar Jackson and 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 uh, our man Patrick Mahomes and all them guys. Dude, you forget that. It's not gonna happen. Take the 33 million. And chill, man. What do y'all think? Think he should he should get more? When you got Aaron Rodgers, you got Jerry Goff, you got Russell Wilson. You got some other guys out there. You know, I think Matt Matt Ryan is making no more than $35 million. So, come on, dude. When it's a Super Bowl, then we, we can talk about it. But here we are. Uh, what else? I uh, also had an opportunity to watch the interview of uh, Marquise, uh, Marquise Lenquist. 
He's the second, he the DB coach that they brought down here. I, I don't know if I talked about this last time, but anyway, come to find out, man. Uh, basically, we might see a whole different secondary. Because this man here is basically looking at trying to bring somebody in that's some ball hawks. And if we look at our, our secondary right now, I don't know who the ball hawk is. <laughs> I really don't. I give Jordan Lewis most, most of the credit on that. Jordan Lewis do play his butt off. But uh, this guy is actually looking for ball hawk, somebody that that's speed, that's that's real speedy, but has a knack for the ball. You know, from free uh, from the free safety position, strong safety, and the DB. So we're gonna see how that go. But do uh, but after listening to the interview, dude's a very energetic guy, uh, very upbeat, a uh, very polite uh, young man. You know, he comes from Texas A and M. Uh, uh, you know, like I say, uh, Mike. No, it was Mike. Mike Nolan, though, that one brought him on board. So Mike Nolan must know, like a lot about this guy. So, but basically, what they're looking for, they're looking for some ball hawks. So don't be surprised. We we might not see Anthony Brown back. Uh, we might not see Byron Jones back. You know, so many free agents out there, man. So there's a lot of things that's going on and that, that could happen before the. Uh, before the deadline of the trade and, and uh, the free agent market and all that good stuff. So, but, uh, yeah, we might see something a little different back there, so don't be surprised, guys. Also, um, keep keep this guy, oh, what's his name? His name is Mike. I don't forgot his name. But he is, uh, they're looking at some DTs, man, looking at some free agent DTs out there. Um, we're going to see how that goes, but. Uh, overall, man, you know, we uh trying to put this thing together with Mike McCarthy and his coaching staff. And the last thing he needs is not to have his quarterback sign. You know, so there's two things that can happen with Dak. They can actually sign him or they can slap this free agent tag on him. Uh, franchise, I'm sorry, franchise tag. And there's two types of franchise tag. There's a uh, exclusive franchise tag, which he'll make about $33 million one season. Then there's another one that's uh, none exclusive. I think that's for twenty seven million. So Dak, dude, you better take that thirty three million and chill out, man. But I don't know what y'all think about that, man. I wouldn't want the franchise tag. I basically I would take the I would take the uh thirty three million a year and you know, shoot before the four years over with man, you by the time you make your four years we get a Super Bowl in there, shoot we'll beef that boy up, you know, but Right now, I don't know what he was thinking, you know, but when you got five other uh, quarterbacks that's that's basically proven themselves pretty much outside of outside of Jared Goff, but you know Aaron Rodgers they're making thirty four million and and uh, Russell Wilson making thirty three million, you know. So come on, man, dude, what are you looking for? <laughs> but anyway, so um, that's what's going on, man. I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend, man, and. Uh, What's up, B2 Real? Harris, know you taking care of that little one. Keep them fed and burp them real good. And uh, anyway, but I'd like to shout out to all my supporters, man. Tyrone, man, you on on a regular basis, brother. I sure appreciate your comments and you keeping up with us, man. We got over a uh, 1,000, what was it, 1,000 hours? No, no, 1,000 views or something, but man, we, hey, man, we doing good, y'all, so, also, man, tomorrow, I will be out at the Dallas, uh, Renegade, the Dallas Renegade tailgate, this is another squad we got that through the XFL, so we're gonna see what these guys look like, too, I don't know if y'all want me to report on these guys, the Dallas, uh, X, uh, Renegades, or we'll just stick with the Cowboys, you know, maybe we can throw a little bit of the Renegades in there, doing all season, just kind of fill some slots if y'all want to do that y'all let me know in the, in the con, uh, comments but I have been watching their, their quarterback man this, uh, this kid man oh I can't think of his name his name is I think Bailey I believe kid come from East Carolina Duke can throw that ball and you know uh, Bob Stoops is the uh, head coach for the Dallas Renegades so y'all look him up y'all haven't looked up the Dallas Renegades it's a new team that's in the XFL and um I plan on going to the tailgate tomorrow and also uh, going to the game. So we'll see what that's like. So y'all let me know if y'all want me to report on it, report on it. I will. If not, we'll just stick straight to nothing but our cowboy. But then again, like I always say, don't nothing happen, don't don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. So let's make it happen, Cap. Deuces.